So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 60 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 60 came out a few days ago and as always I will leave a link to this mission that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience so if you're interested yeah go take a look at it. Okay so Mission 60 yeah this was a interesting mission it kind of felt like once again it was a filler mission but uh, yeah, it was interesting because of the character that came out. Now, if you recall, in Mission 59, we got a chance to see Becky again and how she was going after Lloyd. Well, lo and behold, Mission 60 is all about Agent Nightfall. Yes, <laughs> Fiona Frost. And uh, yeah, this was a somewhat a ridiculous sort of mission. Because the mission that she was assigned to was, <laughs> yeah, this very strange mission. It turns out that the trade minister for Ostania has decided to give a kick in the pants to the West by restricting the export of strawberries to Westalia. And this has enraged the foreign minister of Westalia because he no longer can buy strawberries for his son's birthday cake. And so this has created a situation where the WISE organization now has to send in Agent Nightfall to resolve this problem. And so yeah, this was a pretty lighthearted chapter and it goes into actually two characters, Agent Nightfall and Frankie Franklin. So Agent Nightfall, to be able to do her mission, needs to get a forged trade seal. And so when asking Lloyd where she would be able to get one, Lloyd suggests to go to his trusty assistant, Frankie Franklin. Which of course <laughs> results in a very interesting uh, expression that Agent Nightfall gave when she first meets with him. But considering the fact that this was an important mission to impress Lloyd, she decides to go and work with him. And so Frankie tells her that he can get one of his people who forges documents to create a forged export seal for her. But unfortunately, due to the recent increase in security by the Ostania Police Department, it has become more difficult for this forger to be able to step out into the public. And so they will have to go covert and meet with him. And this results in a, <laughs> a really stupid sort of uh, get up that Frankie suggests. And once again, this results in a very strange reaction from Fiona. Oh, they finally do meet with the forger. And after this person finds out what he needs to provide, he declines the service because it is beneath him. It is such a simple task, and the fact that he has risked his life to come out into the public to do something angered him so much that he decided to decline the request. And it's at this point that Fiona finds out that there are people watching them. Which, of course, terrifies the forger because really the only person that's being targeted within that group is himself. And so he goes running off to safety and, of course, the people go after him. Luckily for him, the person who was asking the request was Agent Nightfall because the rest of the chapter focuses on her ability to be able to protect him from his pursuers. And after some very interesting action, the person finally decides to change his mind and accept the job of forging the document just as an appreciation for Agent Nightfall's protection of him. And in the end, we get some very interesting discussions. First of all, we do get a little bit more revelation of both Fiona as well as Frankie. And the uh, discussions of why Frankie is willing to go ahead and do many of these very dangerous jobs is very interesting to see at the end of this chapter. But the really interesting part was the very, very end when we find a very interesting twist in this entire story, which Agent Nightfall mildly brings out 
and then brushes aside. But it really, once again, gives a little bit more clarification of what sort of person Agent Nightfall is. So overall, yeah, I guess it was an interesting chapter. But I do hope that Tatsuya Endo eventually goes back to the original objective, which was Operation Strix. We haven't seen any progress with regards to that for quite a while. If you recall, even the recent interaction between Yor and the Assassins has nothing to do with Operation Strix. So it's been quite a while since the main story has moved forward. And considering the fact that we've seen so many filler missions, I think it might be a good time for the author to be able to move back to the original objective. So I'm looking forward to him eventually writing about Operation Strix again. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens in Mission 61. And once that comes out, I'll bring out another video. And I hope you join me at that time. But thank you very much for watching this video. And until the next episode, happy manga reading, and as always, giant nice day everyone.